Um, absolute weapon, absolute machine. He's a big ball of energy and fun and support and motivation. He is just um, next level like a Terminator. So he's unbelievable, guys. Um, Reese, say hello, mate. Hello. Reese Tilf. I am the Reese. The first name, the. It's a weird story. It's going to take way too long to get into that one. Cool, cool. What about, who's Reese, man? What do you do? Um, how old are you? What do you, what do you um, so I'm 27. I work at Drake's at yeah. Allenby Gardens. And I have a weird obsession of putting myself through torturous exercise. <laughs> there it is. To, to sum it up into, into, into layman's terms. And that's what we call it the Terminator. Anyway, <laughs> Reese, what motivated you to join, man? Um, it, it's funny. I was actually on the fence a few times because I, I came in for a few trials here and there. I signed up for... I think, I think it was an Elevate challenge, it was, yep. it, was, it was a challenge. Ended up sticking through with it till then. Um, just, couldn't find, just couldn't find a way to get out and stay away. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't find a way to get out, like a cult would have you out. <laughs> it, 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 just sort of, it, it was a way to eliminate my thinking because it was at a time where I wasn't really sure what I was, didn't really have any goals in mind because mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I had done a lot of obstacle racing a few years back mm -hmm. and I sort of like lacked some direction, so I thought this would be a good fresh start, mm -hmm. um, and it eliminated all the thinking work. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So I didn't just come to... here, get it done. Exactly. Yep. 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 Thinking, just doing. Reese has done a lot of um, Spartan race, fifty yeah. kilometer, like fifty k runs. So fifties. So. I've done three twenty-four hour enduros. Yeah. So that's what that's what I mean. He's absolutely. <laughs> right. So anyway, um, were you nervous before you joined? I don't want to say nervous, more yep. optimistic. Optimistic, beautiful. Say optimistic. And how do you feel now since, since joining? Uh, you can't get rid of me now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's done. Um, all right, achievements, some standout achievements, uh, massive results you've made, achieved over the, over your journey here. I mean, keeping the memory fresh from last week, we did an Apex uh, session. I got, the, uh, yes. got, I got a 200 kilo deadlift out yes. of that without, which I have done before, but um, it was with a belt and straps. So mm -hmm. I actually got this time without the belt and without the straps. Mm. I was gonna get the three. Really monster. And even the um, 30 day uh, mental, movement, mental health, you did really well too. That was, yeah. yeah that was really I, I like to focus on the actual mental health side of mm -hmm. things, but that one, mm -hmm. it really got my um, perspective into, one way to word it, word it. Got my perspective right, it yep. was yep. Yep. still sort of going a bit here and there. Yeah, yeah, cool, <laughs> that's good. All right, um, any roadblocks along the way, man? How did you overcome them if you did have some? Most of my roadblocks usually come from work because mm -hmm. I have to be ready for illnesses at work and yeah. um, having to fill in on the spot. Yeah. So best way to overcome them is probably to plan, well, one, plan ahead if you can. Yeah. Obviously, with, I don't have kids or anything like that, so I'm not, I, I don't know all the roadblocks just yeah. yet. Yeah, 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 <laughs> all yeah, in yeah. good time. Yeah. But, my only sort of advice in regards to that is just to not make excuses to um, classes that you can attend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, obviously, you know, if you can't make something, stuff happens, life happens, we all know that. That's right. Um, so what do you do there? Do you sort of like um, just rebook your next class or cancel out and then rebook the next one you can? or you've just That's pretty much, I'll usually book something. Yeah, I'll yeah. usually book like the soonest thing that I can, um, yeah, the soonest one that I can go to. Yep. Um, is usually my plan. If yep. it ends up being a couple of days, so be it, but I'll look at, doing something at home if I can. Yeah, I've, got a few, I've got a few bits and pieces of exercise tools <laughs> at home that I can play with. When there's a will, there's a way, right? <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> He's definitely got the will. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. Um, what about any advice for people sitting on the fence? Uh, I mean, I've got a lot of experience of sitting on the fence, not just with exercise, but yep. even, even career-wise. I've got, I still sit on the fence with a lot of stuff, but that's something we can get into another day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Literally, the longer you sit on the fence, you know, that time you spend sitting on the fence is time that, you know, you could have been getting after it. Yeah, it's, that's a good one. I that, yeah. That's a good one. That's literally it. Yeah. You know, it, it, just ends, it just brings up a whole lot of what it's like, you know, what if I started a week earlier? What if I, what if I did do that? Yeah. So don't think about it, just give it and give it a crack. There's, there's no point in thinking. You know, there's only one way to find out. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. All right, one word to describe prana and, and how it makes you feel. Uh, one, one word if you can. One word supportive. Oh, yep. Beautiful. Uh, how it makes me feel. It makes me feel myself. So yeah, yeah. I, I can, I've got this, I've got a bit of a weird personality, uh, as uh, if people that do know me. Um, but, you know, they're welcome to how I sort of act. I act like a bit of a weirdo sometimes. I, again, I'm probably a bit too much for some people. I do, I do apologise. <laughs> Big ball of energy. I, I apologise for that to a, to a point. <laughs> but there's only so much of my uh, weirdness that you can stop. Yep. 
Nah, 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 love it. We love you. Love you, Reese. <laughs> love your work, mate. All right, guys, um, quick five questions. You ready? All right, let's go. Yes, no, pass. How, answer however you want. There's no right or wrong answer, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, squats or deads? Uh, squ uh, deads. Run or bike? Run. If you were a flavour, what would you be? Chocolate. Okay, in a zombie apocalypse, if a kiss would make the zombies human again, would you do it? Nah, no. zombies all the way. Zombies all the way? Come on. Milk before cereal or cereal before milk? I do cereal before milk. Cool. If a smurf starts to choke, what colour would it become? Uh, rainbow. Rainbow, what's that? Why not? Do penguins have knees? What's that? Do penguins have knees? No. <laughs> what's the most fruitless talent you have? <laughs> Uh, a thousand burpees, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you completed that not long ago. All right, two things you can buy at the supermarket to make the cashier embarrassed. Uh, uncomfortable. Uh, uh, tampons and soda for myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what's another one? That's, I should, I'm working at the supermarket, I should know, I should know this. Um, and basically any sort of tool and just say that it's for, um, not so clean activities. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, if you were held at gunpoint, the last two, if you were held at gunpoint and told to impress them with your best dance move, what would it be? Um, it would be the statue because I can't dance for shit. Okay. <laughs> Alright, if you could speak to your child self, what would you tell yourself? Stop sitting on the damn fence, man. <laughs> yeah? That's it. Stop it. Done. Wicked.